Hey guys, welcome back. This is episode 4 of Redneck Einstein's career mode guide for Kerbal Space Program. So, if you remember from our last episode, we actually unlocked one of my favorite parts of the game, which is an inline reaction wheel. Now, you might say that's pretty uninteresting, but actually it's very interesting because it enables us to co give our uh, rocket more stability. So, all I've done is place that at the top here in between the nose cone and our uh, rocket. So, let's attach those back up together and put the nose cone back on and also what I've done is added two more of these fuel tanks so I'm not sure if I've shown you this already so all you really have to do is just grab them from there left click drag it to there make sure it's attached you can see it goes green if it's attached and if it's not then it just stays red or pinkish so let's put two of them there reattach our engine and hopefully that will give us the fuel needed to get up into outer space or at least to the uh, upper atmosphere so let's I'm gonna go ahead and save this as YouTube 4 because this is my fourth video and that's my fourth iteration of our spacecraft now we're at the launch pad so now we still can't press T we still have no operational SAS modules but the inline reaction wheel should enable us to have more stability so I'm gonna leave my thruster there go ahead and press space and off we go come on Bill so Bill is in charge I think um, what's his name Jebediah has gone for a a break or a little holiday or something somewhere in this beautiful island of Kerbin or beautiful planet of Kerbin should I say so anyway there we go we've finished our solid fuel burn now we're using our liquid fuel burn and already our rocket is trying to get out of control so obviously the inline reaction wheel hasn't quite had the effect I was aiming for not quite sure why that is it should be operational but never mind all we're aiming for now is to use this extra fuel to get us out into the atmosphere now I don't know if you can hear or if you're aware but I'm continually pressing WASD keys to keep this stable and aiming for the middle of this green reticle in the middle here so all you've got to do is keep it steady because it wants to tip over at times you can feel it really pulling so keep it as steady as you can there we go it's starting to tip over so as before in my previous video all we want to do is wait for it to sort of stabilize using WASD keys if we can to steer it back into an upward trajectory I thought that inline reaction wheel would have more of an impact but it hasn't so not to worry alright now let's power up our rockets and we're going up again ladies and gentlemen we are going up just got to be so careful with these WASD keys. It's very twitchy. In the earlier builds of Kerbal, you didn't quite have such a problem. I, I don't think, or I never, never did. That's for sure. So, at least with this amount of fuel, we've got more than last time. Remember, we ad added the extra two fuel tanks. We should be able to get up into the upper atmosphere and that should give us some nice science points so I'm going to do a crew report here there's nothing there our rocket is somewhat stable now let's observe some mystery goo and keep that it's only 2.1 science what we really want is to be up in the upper atmosphere for the additional science we're going to get that should give us a nice big hefty improvement in our um research points and our R&D development of the Kerbal Space Program. So here we go. We're getting some good height here. Look at that, we're heading for orbit, so we're actually going to achieve a very high um, a very high altitude here. So let's see how high we can go. If you press M at this point, you can actually see your rocket and how high it's going to be above the surface of Kerbin. So we're going to get to like 71,000 meters above, which is awesome. And there you can see us we're going to land in the water somewhere which is good for uh, recovery even though it doesn't really matter to us because we have the parachute so I'm going to go ahead right click here do a crew report we're still getting nothing maybe we're not high enough yet let's observe this mystery goo 2.1 science let's leave that what about observe the materials bay can we get anything useful only 4.9 maybe once it gets even higher we'll get more data so I think once we reach our apex, the top of this, 71,000 meters, roughly, we should get even more science points. But if we don't, obviously it's going to be disappointed. Disappointing, sorry. I wonder if we can do an EVA here. Let's have a look. No, it won't let us do an EVA. So this is our first successful escape out of Kerbin's atmosphere. 
we're experiencing quite a low amount of gravity here so I'm just clicking around to see at what point I can get the most science data so let's keep this data I guess it's about as high as we're going to get we'll keep that data let's re observe our mystery goo 10 science that's better the goo seems to have clumped into a sphere it also appears to become to have become brittle so let's keep that 10 science is not bad as you can see if we'd have beamed that back we would have got uh, very little soul so we get five data here it seems we are very much in space right now the sky seems to be mostly below us how about that ladies and gentlemen let's just zoom out and take in the vista of Kerbin um, look at that it just looks glorious so now we're just going to plummet to the ground so as before in order for it not to take too long you just want to use the comma key or click on the top left hand corner here on the keys uh, to speed up the engine now once you're out in the atmosphere you can actually speed up time rather than speed up the game engine once you speed up time that facilitates your ability to travel between planets uh, a lot better so what have we got here we've completed contracts look at that achieved the land distance black whoa look at our rocket that's because of the effect of um, increasing the physics engine the speed of the physics engine rather than the actual um, time it makes your plane do uh, rocket do some really weird things so just be aware of that, guys, because that can break your rocket apart. All right, now we're heading down to the ground. I thought we were going to land in the water, but apparently not. Let's open our parachutes because we're getting awfully close to the ground. Let's get a nice little vista to take our picture from. Look at that. Here we go. We're landing nicely. We're still 500 meters above the ground, so just wait for that to settle nicely. And hopefully, guys, you've you've also achieved your first um, escape from Kerbin's atmosphere. Um, and achieved a lot of science points in the process. Obviously, like I said before, the aim of the game is to not spend as much money or spend as little money as possible while um, achieving all of your missions, basically, and re finishing the research contract. So let's click on our YouTube 4 one, click recover, bosh, another 30 science added. So we've got 48 science now. That's pretty nice. So we click next. No, no more reputation for Bill. Bill, if you want um, an improved reputation, mate, you're going to have to go to the moon. <gasps> Pardon me. So now we've got 362,000 curbing credits. How awesome is that? Let's go to the research um, tree and find out what we can research. We've got 48.1 research points. So if we wanted, we could, un we could unlock general construction which gives us strut connectors, structural fuselage, brand decouplers, brand adapters, and launch stability enhancer. Quite good. You can unlock plane parts for 45 science, or you can unlock basic science. Now, I actually like basic science, because what that will do is give us more things to monitor the atmosphere and give us more science points depending on where we are um, in Kerbin, whether we're on the ground, in lower atmosphere, upper atmosphere, or in orbit, or whatever. So I might just go ahead and unlock this. So that comes with a rechargeable battery pack. Awesome. Because it uses a lot of electric charge to send uh, information back. Um, we've got the Stay Putnik Mark 1. That's pretty nice. And we've got a thermometer. Too hot thermometer. Pretty decent. And a bigger communications... Uh, bigger communications antenna so how much would it cost for advanced flight control that's what I'm really interested in we need something that will give us some SAS stability enhancing oh we've got the rocket thruster block in there but that's 90 science we can't really afford that right now so I'm gonna go for the basic science unlock that but a bing bada boom let's close that and that is the end of this video guys hopefully on the next video we'll be able to achieve possibly an orbit if not we'll do some more science and go from there. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And send me a message. Let me know how you're getting on. Bye bye.